Dr. Daka, humble servant of His Majesty Hirohita. By divine destiny, my country shall destroy the democratic forces of evil in the United States to make way for the new order. And the page, step up to him. Slap his face. <laughs> step back. Why, you devil? Daka and his men plan the theft of a vital radium shipment. With success almost in their grasp, they meet opposition from Batman. Well, where are they? I don't see them. He dropped back. Maybe I got his tire. I think so. Take it easy for a minute. I'll go over and see if there's anything I can do for those men in the armored car. I'd better do it. Won't be a very pretty sight. Besides, I gotta get that radium gun. Change your clothes and turn the car around. You are aware that your late colleagues not only failed miserably in their attempt to get the much needed radium for our secret weapon, but they have also lost their worthless lives. My shortwave radio. Captain Curry, I've contacted Prince Tucker. Go ahead. Captain Nomokuri, commanding submarine 918 of His Majesty Hirohito's Imperial Navy, has message for His Highness Prince Tito Taka. This is Dr. Tito Taka. What is your message, Captain Curie? We carry a large, valuable package for you from Japan. Unfortunately, we cannot deliver same to you directly. Where do you intend to leave it, Captain? Please pick up package at Smuggler's Rocks at low tide tonight. Follow instructions of Plan 94. Banzai. Banzai. Fletcher, contact Hills Brothers Mortuary and rent a hearse. Line up your new men for tonight and proceed as outlined in Plan 94. The afternoon mail just arrived, sir. Alfred, what's that? Oh, nothing of any interest, sir. Just an advertisement. I was going to throw it away. Let's see it. I thought I told you never to throw anything away. Oh, but if I saved all the trash that comes through the mail, sir, we'd clutter up an entire room with it. Notice how the stamps are fixed on this envelope? Oh, I should say that's rather odd. It's a code message. Come over here and I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> just a 
bank page. Oh, that's a good one on you, sir. Probably one of those April Fool Day jokes. Not quite, Alfred. Put that in the tray. Enemy has knowledge of construction of new design aeroplane motor at Lockwood. May attempt sabotage. Take necessary action to forestall any such move. Your first special assignment from Washington. That's right. And there'll be two new men by the name of Bruce and Dick working at Lockwood tomorrow. So you found it all right. Bring it to the laboratory. Well, Fletcher, did you encounter many difficulties? None at all. As soon as the tide went out, we went into the cove and found this thing lying right there in the rocks. Here, get the top off. Hey, there's a dead body in here. A body, yes, but not a dead one, gentlemen. Here, put these on the wrists right away. Stand back. Son of Heaven is under hypnotic influence or what is commonly known as state of animated suspension. I have brought him back to consciousness. He may only come to life for a few moments, but long enough to divulge the information he has been entrusted with. Welcome to the country that will soon be a colony of our expanding empire. One side, Prince Daka. I have important message from Tokyo. Secure Lockwood plane with no secret motor. Fly to Pelican Island for rendezvous with submarine. Further information in here. His mission is completed. He is very happy to die. We didn't have a chance to tell you very much. Everything else we must know we will find in here. Something like uh, V-mail again. Exactly, Marshal. Klein, get the screen and projector ready. Remove the body of my brave countryman. Klein, put out the lights. The cross marks the hangar where the plane is kept. We shall make a photographic enlargement of this map and study it. Put on the lights. To know where the plane is is one thing, to get it is another. But gentlemen, I think I have a plan. Oh, the cave of horrors. 
see the life-size models of the victims of our savage enemies. Why, it'll make you think, my friends, see how they treat their prisoners. It'll make your blood turn cold. Hey, you fellas there, I've noticed you standing there. You build planes. Well, sir, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to let you see this exhibit absolutely free of charge. And when you get back on your job, you'll build those planes just twice as fast. No, I'm not kidding. Come on. Come on, it's on the house. Come on. What can we lose? We've got a couple hours before we go to work. That's well, right. There's a philosophy. Keep by me. Two on the house. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you, brother. Glad to have you with us, boys. Get right in. There, my friends, are two men who are helping us win this war. Those men in the airplane factory, in the munitions plant. Hello? Two mechanics in lock. This can't be the end of the line already. Well, maybe the car got stuck. Let's give it a push. Okay. <coughs> Won't move. Well, it's a good thing we got in free. Ah, this whole thing is from hunger. You said it. Step this way, gentlemen, please. Pretty good, Sacky. Your accent's a little off, but your makeup is perfect. Come on, let's see what he can show us. That's okay with me. This is quite a joint. Now, this eh? is more like it. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, wait. Oh, man. Uh, hey, what is this? Uh, well, this is part of the show, it isn't fun. Bring them to the laboratory. That's that. Take it up. on him. What is your name? Jim Brammel. Have the new Lockwood motor been tested yet? Yes, it is being tested every day. Do you or your friend know how to fly a plane? Fred knows how. Good. Fletcher, release him. Have them bring in the other man. They're gonna take off any minute. You stick around and keep your eyes open. Where are you going? Well, I'm gonna scout around a little. If you need me, get in touch with me on your pocket radio. Okay. Bruce? I'm in the plane. I want to keep an eye on things while in flight. Happy landing. Looking for someone? Oh, how's the ship? She's pre flighted and ready to go. Burn like a... Thanks, Mac. I'll give you regards to the angels. You fellas know you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs>
Yes, Dick? The two men on the plane are not the Lockwood pilot. Report it to headquarters. I'm riding along till I get to their hideout. Very nice. Set your course west by southwest and head for Pelican Island. Batman! Look out behind you, the Batman! Okay, I'll attend to it at once. Zone 14. Battery commander. Captain Wales speaking. There's a stolen plane over your section. Bring it down at once. has discovered a rich radium mine, which Docker is determined to steal. Will Bill Docker's men overpower the rugged prospector? And will Robin be able to upset Docker's evil plans? Don't fail to see Poison Peril, Chapter 6 of Batman, at this theater next week. Docker and his Jap spies learn of a new secret airplane. They succeed in stealing it, but plane is Batman. plane over your section. Bring it down at once.
is useless. I cannot contact them again. The Batman must have overpowered those mechanics. Section one. Section 50 reporting. Go ahead. Lockwood test plane just crashed near Edgeworth. Two bodies found in wreckage. Who are they? Mechanics from the Lockwood factory. That means the Batman is at large again. But before long, I will make him regret his interference. Hadn't you better contact the submarine and tell them? Dr. Dacker calling Captain Curie, submarine 918. Dr. Dacker calling, submarine 918. Banzai, Prince Dacker. Banzai, Captain Curie. Lockwood plane crash cannot be delivered. Too bad. Plan failed. I will find another way. But please do hurry. These waters are very dangerous for a Nipponese submarine. Enemy destroyers close by. To save time, we will endeavor to secure blueprint of Lockwood motor instead of waiting till Yankees build the new one. Banzai. Banzai. <laughs> Heaven knows where they are, miss. Mr. Wayne's been considering a trip for his health for a long time. They may have gone either to the, uh, to the beach, or, or to the desert, or, or, um, or uh, even Mexico City, or um, maybe South America. Uh, or uh, possibly trying to find out who the Batman is. Oh, oh yes, miss. Uh, I mean, no, miss. It's too bad they had to leave just when I needed him so badly. Linda, darling, let me hear you say that again, that you need me. <laughs> oh, Bruce, you're impossible. Hello, Dick. Hello, Linda. Listen, the reason I came was to tell you that Ken Colton's in town. He telephoned me and wants to get in touch with Uncle Martin. What does he want with him? Uncle Martin grub-staked him to a mine and he struck it rich. He wants to put the mine in both of their names. Did you tell him about your uncle? No. I told him to meet me at the apartment. I thought perhaps you might help me out. Of course I'll be there. I haven't seen Ken in a coon's age. Now, how about some tea? Oh, thanks, but I've got to get back to work. Survivors. Another disaster due to the interference of the Batman. We can forget about the blueprints for the present. But there's one thing you must accomplish at once. Destroy the Batman. That's a great idea, but how? It is evident that he is interested in Miss Page. That may be, but I understand she likes a fellow named Bruce Wayne. You don't suppose this fellow Wayne and the Batman could be one and the same person? That'd be absurd. That simpering idiot could never be the Batman. We must find out about Miss Page, her habits, the people who come to visit her. Klein, you are an electrician. Go to Miss Page's apartment posing as a telephone repairman. Install a dictaphone. This is the address. Maybe now we can find out who the Batman really is. What sort of a mind have you, Mr. Colton? Radium. Yes, and lots of it. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Linda. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Linda. Hello, Dick. Hello, Ken. How are you? Oh, boy. <laughs> this is my ward, Dick Grayson, Mr. Colton. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you, sir. Well, it's good to see you again, Ken. Where are you staying? The Longsworth Hotel? Yeah. Best is none too good for me now. <laughs> Come over here, you old desert rat, and tell me a few things. Say, what's this I hear about your finding a, a gold mine? Well, better than gold, Ken. <clears throat> Look. Looks like a piece of coal to me. Yeah, that's pitch blend. That's the mineral from which radium is extracted. A 
and I've got millions of tons of this pitch blend and sale. On the last test I made, why, it showed a higher grade ore than any known deposit. Very interesting. But isn't it a rather expensive process to extract the radium from this, um, what did you call it? Pitch blend. Yeah. Oh, yes, but that doesn't matter as long as you know how little there is available and how badly more is needed. Mr. Colton seems to understand our problem. Where's your mind located, Mr. Colton? Don't tell anyone, not even us, until you've registered your claim. Uh, I can trust you folks. Dave, have you got a map of the state? Yes, I'll get you one. All right, that's fine. You know, you'll be surprised when you find out where this mine is located. Oh. I'll pick them up for you, Linda. Thank you. Here it is. Well, thanks. I think this will show us where we want to go. Oh. You see this road here? Leads right up here and branches off. Line went dead. Yes, just when we were about to learn the location of the mine. Preston. Go to Colton's room, get there and get those papers before he has a chance to get back. Take Burke and Klein with you. Thanks for the lift. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Colton. Good night, sir. I didn't get a chance to tell you that now. When we were up in Linda's apartment, I found this microphone hidden under her desk. Well, somebody else beside us knows all about Colton and his mind. I tore the wires loose, but whoever was listening must have heard most of the conversation. I think the Batman and Robin had better keep an eye on Mr. Colton. Swell, let's get into our outfit. There's nothing here that looks like a chart or a map. Look through those pockets again. Someone at the door, put your light out. I'll take care of him. traffic before we can get started. We'll get back to Colton and see if he's hurt. You'll be all right now. You think you'll be able to identify any of the men? There's Doc. I didn't get a good look at him. I leave you a sedative in case you don't sleep well tonight. Good evening, Mr. Wayne. What brings you here? I just heard from Captain Arnold that Mr. Colton had been attacked. Who are they, Ken? Well, I suppose that bunch of claim jumpers that you warned me about. But they didn't get what they came for. We'll stay with him for a while. I'll see that Mr. Colton makes a full report of this tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Wayne. Good night. You won't have to wait long. I've sent for a male nurse to look after him. That's fine. We'll just stay till he gets here. You know, they failed, Ken. They'll try it again. I'll be ready. Mr. Wayne's residence. Who's calling, please? And Mr. Colton calling you, sir. Oh. Morning, Ken. How do you feel? But there's a fiddle full of news. Just heard from Martin Warren. On my way to meet him. Why don't you come and go with me? Where'd he tell you to meet him? Down at the old Atlas Smelter at Avenue D and 7th Street. Uh, he said he was a foreman there. Defense work, you know. Well, take my advice and stay where you are. It may be a trap. Don't forget those claim jumpers from last night. Ah, uh, yes, I know, but if this is really Martin, I don't want to miss him. Tell you what I'll do. I'll go over there and make sure it's Martin who called you. Yeah, if everything is in order, then I'll phone you and you can come over then. Okay, Bruce. I'll be waiting for your call. Well, Alfred, your big moment has come. Oh, splendid, sir. 
He's going to pitch hit for Mr. Colton and keep his appointment for him. Me, sir? Oh, I, I hardly feel I can do it, sir. I, uh, I'm not feeling very top hole this morning. You get the makeup kit. You certainly can look more like Colton than Colton does himself. change, my good man. Well, there's no one around. Let's go. Sorry, Mr. Colton, but your friend Warren hasn't arrived yet. Oh. Oh, oh well, I, I don't mind waiting a little. But... Oh, fine, fine. Nice little plant we have here. It should interest you. Not very large, but with our method of processing. Oh, oh, oh. oh careful, careful. <laughs> Don't trip into that bat. The chemical in there would leave no trace of you if you did. Oh. You see? Oh. And now, Mr. Colton, uh, where is your mine located? Mine? What mine? Uh, well, you see, I, I'm afraid I can't, uh, I can't. Why should I tell you? The boys didn't finish with you last night. If they begin on you again, you'll be ready for the morgue. See if you can persuade Mr. Colton to answer my question. Are you going to talk? Are you going to tell us where that mine is? No. Well, maybe a yank on this will change your mind. Oh, oh so. before that chemical reaches these wires. There's Fletcher, Docker's lieutenant, posing as a doctor to trap Colton. Will the Jap spy force Colton to reveal the location of the radium mine? And there's Robin on the job. Will he find his match in Dhaka at last? Don't fail to see The Phony Doctor, Chapter 7 of Batman at this theater next week. <laughs> <laughs>